channel so it's actually quite late in the afternoon now it is 20 past four um and i was just about to sit down and do my makeup and get ready to go out later and i thought i would do a bit of a pregnancy get ready with me type of thing and chat to you guys whilst i did my makeup because to be quite honest i had no motivation to do it at all i wanted to stay in bed and nap so I thought if I come on here and chat to you guys, it would give me some motivation. So before we get started, I do want to say sorry for our headboard in the background right now. I have nowhere else I wanted to film because I like my setup, but it's kind of lopsided right now. Um, it's not my camera. I need to get Ted to fix it and I haven't got around to it yet. So yeah, sorry if that annoys anybody. There's not really much I can do about it. Um, <laughs> I tried to lift it up a bit, but it just fell back down. So there wasn't really much I could do about it. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. Oh, I may look a little bit redder than the last clip, but don't know about anybody else, but the background was infuriating me that it wasn't straight. So I fixed it. I'm not going to tell you how. Because Ted will probably watch this and I don't know what he'll say about it. So, it's fixed. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've already washed and prepped my face in the bathroom. So I'm just going to add some cream to my face before I begin. Sorry if in this video I'm looking down a lot, by the way. I've got a little mirror that, obviously because I'm not sat in front of my mirror that I usually do my makeup in front of. Um... I'm gonna hold that up to do some of my makeup. Um, I do just wanna say like, I am not by any means amazing at makeup. I pretty much go by the rule that I throw it on and hope it looks good. <laughs> um, so makeup's not my ultimate forte. Um, I just wanted to get that out of the way before I began. So none of you come for me for the way I do my makeup. I know a lot of people don't actually like the way, like the order I do my makeup in. My friend kills me for it every single time. But it works for me, so that's how I do it. <clears throat> but yeah. So I start with my eyebrows when I do my makeup. I brush them through with a good old spoolie, spoolie, however you want to say it. And then I actually fill them in with a powder. I just use the, do you know what? I don't actually know who this is by. It just looks like this, but it's, um, I think I just picked it up in boots. I don't know, but I actually just use powder, but I wet my brush that goes on like a pomade. So a lot of people have actually been asking me recently how far along I am because I still look quite small so I'm actually currently 28 weeks and four days pregnant so I'm nearly 29 weeks um the hospital are monitoring his like his growth and how big he is because see I am actually quite small for how far along I am obviously I am in my third trimester now um so I am <clears throat> quite small for how far along I am but obviously people grow in different um different speeds I guess and people's bodies react differently to pregnancy and stuff like that um so now that my eye area is done and I have some mascara on and I'm looking a little bit more human I can move on to my face. I haven't done anything too dramatic with my eyes today. I've just left it with mascara instead of falsies. <clears throat> I'm trying to not put false lashes on as much as I used to now because I had this problem with like individual lashes and I messed them up basically. Long story short, I went somewhere where I shouldn't have. They messed up. I lost most of my eyelashes and now I'm just trying to like rejuvenate them a little bit and try and get them back and thicker and nicer i never had thick lashes anyway but just trying to make them a little bit nicer than they were slash 
are so I've left it quite natural but as far as my face makeup goes I actually use a mix of the lifting and firming foundation with SPF 15 from Boots and the collection lasting perfection foundation from I don't know where I got this it'll be super juggle boots one of the two but I mix these to get both together don't ask me what color it's in because I haven't got a clue and sorry for the lighting change by the way um my windows are open because it is baking today and I don't want to sit in front of lights because it's so hot and I'm pregnant and that's just not going to swing with me it's too hot, I'll overheat it'll be this whole big thing so I'm working on natural light from my window at the moment so it's a little bit temperamental oh my god, so I cannot explain to you guys how much I have been craving noodles recently like it is a bad obsession at this point and I woke up this morning and that was all I craved and all I wanted and we don't have any and I don't just mean like normal noodles that you cook yourself I mean like packet super noodles and if anybody knows me they know that that along with the mac and cheese you can get from Aldi I know it's not very healthy and I know I'm pregnant I do eat better than that on a normal basis um, but yeah that along with the Aldi's mac and cheese that you literally put in the saucepan or the microwave with um, water, butter and milk god they have been some of my biggest cravings recently like literally I could just eat that I would since I've been um, pregnant, I've really, really liked using foundations with SPF in them. So I feel like when you're pregnant, your skin either... So for you, those of you that don't know, normally the way it goes is your skin either gets really good during pregnancy and really bad after, or really bad during pregnancy and really good after. Or if you're really really lucky you get both like you get it good the whole way through but my skin is normally quite good anyway like I've never had really 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 bad skin so I don't know how it's gonna be after pregnancy but I'm kind of trying to like keep it as good as I can not put too much stuff on it to try and minimize how bad it's gonna be once I've had the baby because bad skin is one thing I literally cannot deal with like you know everybody everybody I know everybody in the world has pet peeves has things they don't like blah blah blah, blah. my one of those on me is like bad skin hygiene is skin hygiene even the right term for it I guess so but if it's not we're going with it now but yeah like bad skin hygiene like people that and don't get me wrong, like, I sleep in my makeup 24, like, well, not 24-7, but there have been times that I have been a culprit or been a victim of sleeping in my makeup, but it really does make me cringe out. Like, I just think it's so, there's so much dirt in it and, like, I don't even want to think about it or talk about it, really, but, yeah. I don't even know where I was going with this now, which is great. Oh yeah, foundations with SPF in them. I think one thing that I've actually found really difficult in like more the last stages of my pregnancy than the first is like finding the energy to actually get up and go. So once I'm up and like I've actually started getting ready and starting my day and stuff like that I'm absolutely fine but like actually finding the effort inside me to like get up and brush my teeth and eat breakfast and all of that good stuff I actually found really really difficult 
which isn't something that I thought I ever would because I normally before I was pregnant was really really good at like getting myself up going out making myself feel good <laughs> about myself and all of this I was normally really really good at it so when I started getting into like the last stages of my pregnancy and I was just exhausted all the time and my iron was low and all of this and I was really lethargic it was like a really 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 big shock to my system it was definitely something that I've had to sort of get used to like with new things you always got to find different ways to get used to it and stuff like that but hey ho another thing a lot of people have actually been asking me recently that I um, would kind of like to touch on is have people in public asked to touch my bump so since I've been pregnant and since I've got bigger definitely um people in public yeah have asked to touch my bump um so a lot of people have asked how i've been dealing with it do i let them and all of this i actually find it really difficult because you do find that a lot of people that ask to touch your bump are either people that are drunk or on something in the nut that's the nicest way i can put it or are older and like you don't want to be rude or upset anybody especially if they're drunk or something like that you don't want to piss them off but I actually find it really really difficult because I like my personal space number one number two it sounds weird but you do get quite protective over your bump because obviously your baby's in there and to me I don't really want people like coming over to me and just touching my bump and asking about it so to me it's actually really awkward sometimes I try and like avoid the question or I'll just answer something else they've asked me and kind of glide over that or I'll just say I need to go <laughs> I kind of try and just avoid it without actually going on about it because I don't want to be horrible to people they normally don't mean anything by it but people that I know that like I see on a daily basis or like I speak to a lot of stuff like that I don't mind like they can just touch without asking I don't care it's not a problem for me but yeah people that are strangers or that I don't know that is actually something that I find really really awkward to sort of handle and deal with um that's actually a really good question oh my god it is so bleeding hot in the UK recently it is redonkulous like honestly <clears throat> I don't know if it's climate change or if mother nature just hates me at the moment but it is like 27 degrees one minute which might not sound a lot but in England that is so hot it's like 27 degrees one minute it was nearly 40 the other week and then two seconds later we're having thunderstorms how the hell do you are you meant to plan an outfit around around that just I, I really don't understand it's the most difficult thing for me as well because i'm okay in the heat like i don't feel it that bad but on the other hand i know that even though i can't feel it like my body will if that makes sense so like i need to be careful that i'm not overheating and I'm not damaging my body and stuff like that. So it's actually really difficult for me. Like. First world problems eh. Um, so I'm nearly done now. But I do go back. When I'm not wearing false lashes. I go back to my eyelashes. That I've already put mascara on. Nobody come for me for this by the way. I know you're not meant to curl your lashes. When you already have mascara on them. Because they break and all come out. But I've never had a problem with it before. And it makes my lashes look longer and thicker so I do it so nobody come for me about that I do know that you're not meant to do it but it's fine if they all come out we have to start from scratch again I've been there before the end of the world will not happen over it it's all good and then I just put another layer of mascara over that 
I think putting a layer of mascara over your lashes when they're dried does help to make them look thicker and longer and better if that is what you want because I don't like walking around with makeup on like full face makeup you think you look good then you look in the mirror and you realize your eyelashes look bald or your eyeballs look bald and someone laughed at me for saying that once and I was like no your eyelashes can look bald and mine could win a bloody award in looking bald because I have got the most ridiculous lashes in this world and I know it's not really a massive deal to moan about but they're odd these ones are like short and they curl and these ones are long and they stick out so it's not an easy situation to be in but you know what we make it work so I don't actually know what lip product to wear today recently I've really been liking the number no. 7 gloss shine I don't know what it is where it's from blah 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 but it looks like that but this one is one of my favourites I have no idea where I got it from I think someone might have got this for me for like a Christmas like filler or something like that but it's literally just a plain pink gloss. This used to be my favourite and I haven't worn it in ages. So I think I might wear it over the top of this pinky one I've got here. So I think I might mix those two together today, have a bit of a change. Recently, I found it so difficult to like know what to wear. Because I'm so near the end of my due date now. I'm so near my due date, sorry, that like I don't want to go out and buy new maternity clothes that I'm not going to get a use out of when the baby's born because obviously if I go out and buy summer stuff now and the baby's due in October, I'm not going to be able to wear it in October because it'll be too cold and I'll hopefully be a different weight or be slightly skinnier have lost the weight by the summer after so I can't even wear it then. So I've really been struggling in finding something that I can like wear out of the clothes I already have. I actually need to go through my clothes so bad. It drives Ted crazy how many clothes I have that I don't even wear. And you know what, if I went in my wardrobe right now, I probably wouldn't even recognise half the clothes that are in there because... I haven't worn them in so long that I don't even know I still have them so I really need to do that you know what maybe I'll film me doing it one day because there's so much in there it might actually be really interesting to film so maybe I'll film it maybe I won't my hair is driving me absolutely bonkers today it's one of them days where nothing is staying in my hair no matter how hard I try so I do apologize for the way it's looked for this <laughs> entire video it probably has not looked cute at all but this is my finished makeup look i am probably going to go and get some food now and <laughs> chill out for a little bit before i have to go out but i'm really sorry because this video has probably been absolutely all over the place i've spoken about some weird bits and i don't even know how long this is or if i'm gonna upload it but i hope you guys have liked me chatting to you whilst i did my makeup and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye guys.